Hi, I'm Mitch Moore. Thanks for looking in on what we hope to be the first of many Ludlam Measurements Incorporated instructional videos for help in using our radiation detection instruments. We hope this video will help you better understand and use our Model 26 handheld Frisker. With me today is Elias Chavez. Elias has worked with Ludlam Measurements for more than 20 years and understands our instruments and their functionality as well as anyone. Elias, thanks for taking time to be with us today. Welcome, Mitch. Glad to be here. Liz, I won't put you on the spot today, ask you to do any special acting or ad-libbing. In fact, just want you to do what you do best. If you would, please, walk us through the functions and use of our Model 26. I'll turn it over to you, Elias. Uh, once again, here is the Model 26. All functions begin by way of uh, pressing the power switch and releasing. Upon pressing the power switch, you will note all the segments in the display will light up and we'll finish showing you a three-digit firmware number and then it'll go to a normal display. 008 is the firmware number and now we're in normal display. Currently we're reading out in counts per minute. Uh, the Model 26 has the capabilities of displaying either counts per minute or counts per second. I will show you how to manipulate the settings uh, by way of getting into the setup mode. To get into the setup mode upon power up, you'll want to press the mode button three times as soon as it goes to a normal display. And you will see that the uh, display begins to blink Except, accepting a setting change. If you wait too long to make your setting change, approximately four seconds, the display will go to the very next setup on the list. Upon power up, press the mode button three times once it goes to normal display. Two, three. And you'll see that the display begins to blink. Initially, you're seeing the counts per minute, counts per second setup, which would be setup number one. Number two is your response time. The, set, the third function is your fast slow response, followed by your count rate alarm, and then your scalar alarm. Notice the CPM disappears. Now we're showing scalar count time. And then we go to operational modes, followed by normal display again. The audio can be silenced by pressing the power button once and releasing. You'll note the audio has, or the clicks, have uh, gone mute. Pressing the power switch again and releasing will bring you back to normal audio again. Upon power down, you'll notice the display counts down for three seconds, at which point you'll release the power button and now you've turned the Model 26 off. With the purchase of your Model 26, uh, in the Certificate of Calibration, provided you've purchased a response check source, the factory will take the, the check source and do a factory response reading and document that in the comments section of your Certificate of Calibration. You would want to take note of the geometry or how the source was placed in relation to the detector, in this case, label side of source placed on the protective screen to duplicate this, the readings that the factory did. You should be able to match the reading plus or minus 10%.
The Model 26 has a backlight feature that engages when you go to low light or no light uh, in a situation where you're having to do a response check or a set of readings and you don't have enough light to visibly tell what's on the display the backlight will engage on its own uh, automatically and disengage once you're back into normal lighting. Okay, here as you can see on the display of the Model 26, the backlight has engaged and allows you to easily read the display that backlight can be set to stay on all the time. Refer to the user's manual which will show you how to properly disassemble the Model 26 to access the two pole dip switch that's located on the main board alongside the pancake tube. Internally on the Model 26, you have a two-pole dip switch strip. Dip switch number one and dip switch number two. Here's an example of the dip switch operation provided by Randy Smith. Inside the unit, there are two dip switches that control the operation of the unit. Dip switch two is closest to the battery compartment and if it's on, which means it's to the right, it doesn't allow any changes to the setup mode. The dip switch one, if it's to the right, is on and allows for continuous operation of the backlight. It cuts your battery life about in half. In the setup mode, Beginning with the type of count rate, whether it be counts per second or counts per minute, uh, you would select one of the two. And then following into the second display, which is your response time, you would use the acknowledge button to change the value from zero through nine. The next setup is the fast or slow position, typically left in the fast mode, followed by your count rate alarm point, which the default is zero, but you're able to change it from zero through a value up to and including 900. K. Now the display is showing us the scalar count time, which as you see, the default is one minute. That value can be changed to as little as one second or all the way up to nineteen minutes and fifty nine seconds. Now be aware in order to remove that one digit to the far left of the display you have to have a value in the minutes side of the display otherwise that one will not allow you to remove it. And Here we're back to normal count time. The last and final setting is your operational modes, of which you have four, beginning with zero, one, two, and three. Zero is allowing you to display the normal, the max, and the scalar modes. One allows you to display normal and max modes only. Two allows for normal and scalar modes. And three 
allows for normal mode only. I refer to the uh, tech manual to give you the list of the different modes available. And this concludes the functionality and basic use of the Model 26. Elias, thank you very much for uh, sharing your time and uh, knowledge with us today. We hope that this video has been helpful to you as users of the Model 26. And as always, if you have further questions or concerns, feel free to call Ludlam Measurements at country code 1-800-622-0828 or by email at sales at ludlums.com. Thank you.